three hairstyles you can do on your doll. And they're all fairly easy, so let's get started. Okay, so the first hairstyle is a fishtail braid, as you probably already saw. And first, you want to comb out your doll's hair. I already combed out her hair, as you can probably tell. So now, the next step is you're going to take your doll's hair and separate it in the middle. And have one side be your left side and one side be your right side. Hold up. Sorry about that. Then, after that, you're going to take one part of one of your sides and take one from the outer edge, if you understand what I mean. Now my outer edge is right here, so I'm going to take my outer edge and cross it over to the left side. Then I'm going to keep hold with that. Repeat this process over and over. I like to put my thumb right here to hold on to the other side so that it doesn't just all fall. Then you take a little bit of the other side and grab it with your other hand. I like to pull in the sides just to make sure that the braid is nice and tight. And you keep repeating this step. Again, let's try that again. So you take a little bit of their hair from one side, cross it over, grab it, tighten, put your thumb back, take a little bit of hair from the other side, cross it over, grab it, tighten, and put your thumb there again. I'll be right back after I finish this. Okay, so now I've gotten done, and I'm just grabbing on to the end, and you're going to take a hair tie and just end off the braid right there, like that. Now, I usually do a loop around like one or two times, but you can do however many times you want to loop around there. And okay, so for the next hairstyle, you're going to need to brush your doll's hair out, and I already did that. So then, you're going to take your doll's hair, and you're going to split it down the middle like this. Then I like to just take a hair tie and just like tie up one side of the hair. Just a really like simple and loose tie like that so that I don't have it in the way while I'm doing the other hair. Then I take the other hair and we're going to use our comb to comb it out like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a little section of hair from the top like this. And I've had that. I'm just going to brush it out. And then we're going to do a regular braid. Just down the middle like that. If you don't know how to do a braid, you can. I can, I can show you. You're going to take one of the strands, cross it over, and take the other side of one of the strands, cross it over again. Take another one of the strands, cross it over, and take another one of the other side of the strands and cross it over. And you're just going to repeat that process all the way down. And if you want it to be super tight, then you can tighten it, but I'm not having mine be too tight. Then you take your hair like this, and you got to make sure you, you have to make sure it's really tight. Like. Or else your As braid you will just fall off and so let's move on to the next work. one. So then you're gonna take it and hold on to it right there. Then you're gonna grab a hair tie. Okay, so the next I'm using one of these very one. small ones. We're going to and wrap it around. You're going to take your doll's hair like that. And just hold on. And that creates you're gonna need a lot of like different right pigtail. See? And a bunch of that stuff. So I've got a lot of that. Now, I'm just using a bunch of different colors of these little things, little bands. So, let's get started. Okay. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your doll's hair, and obviously you're going to brush it. And after that, you're going to take it and hold it as if you're going to do a ponytail. Now, my little rubber bands are super thin, so I'm putting two together to make one rubber band. And then you're just going to put it on the doll's hair as if it was just a regular ponytail. Let me get that done. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to grab another color or just another rubber band, but I'm making mine really colorful. So next I'm going to do purple in my colors. I've got this really cool dark purple, and I'm going to put that in. And I'm going to put it in below it. I'm not going to put it like right next to it or else there's no space. So I'm putting it a little bit below, as you can tell. 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull. You're going to like push it a little bit and try to puff it up. Then you have to make sure to get at the top and then puff it up a little bit at the bottom. Like this. Sorry about the barking dog in the background. Okay, sorry about that, I fixed the problem. The next color I'm going to do is a blue color. And now I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna wrap it around the hair again, like that. Just like this, and remember to fluff this one up as well. And you're gonna continue this process 